All right, so plant tour. I'm going to do my bedroom first and then maybe the rest of the house or each room um, individually because it's a lot to do in one day. But this is my dresser and I'm going to start right here. I have a golden pothos right here that was like a little tiny baby when I first got it and now it's just trailing from a mama plant that's downstairs that most of you have probably already seen me do a whole video on that. Back here, I have a kangaroo fern that I just repotted, so hopefully it starts to do something. It's kind of looked like this since I got it. <laughs> it's called a kangaroo fern. Um, this is a clipping from my Monstera downstairs, and I repotted it here. Um, I propagated it first in water and then I potted it and it's doing great um, with the exception of this leaf that I have to cut off but other than that it is happy right here right here I have a peace lily that was kind of dying I turn my plants around so they get equal sun exposure and they'll grow evenly so that's why it's turned like that but it was, um, this is a peace lily. There was two of them. They were both struggling. So I m put them together. I may have made a video on that. I don't know if I did. I'll post it maybe one day if anybody wants to see that. But it's thriving now. That's a calathea. It's also aka a prayer plant. But this is a different kind. I'll, I'll put the name. Um, I think it's a zebra maybe. No, I don't know. And then my spider plant, actually before I go back to the spider plant, this one, the Calathea, Calathea, um, it's also known as a prayer plant because at night, um, or as the day progresses, the leaves start to fold up. You can kind of see it happening already because all these leaves were down when I woke up this morning. Um, I'll insert a before and after picture so that you guys can see that. And then my spider plant. This is the only spider plant I have. Um, and I got it by accident. Very funny story. I do succulent swaps with some girl I met on Facebook. <laughs> We've been doing it for like years. And when I went to go pick up my succulents from her, this was in the bag. And I never asked her about it, but I think she thought this was a succulent. And I knew right away it wasn't. I didn't know what it was, honestly. I just potted it. And then watched it and then as it started to grow i realized it was a spider plant um and it was like this tiny little shrub maybe had like four leaves on it um everything else was dead so i cut all the dead stuff off potted it and now it's just growing so it's probably not growing as fast as spider plants normally do um, it might be because of the type of soil i used i don't know i didn't know what it was so now I know it's a spider plant and it's doing okay. Back there I have my ZZ. Um, this is an easy house plant to have. Like if you want your first house plant that's something easy. These things are resilient. They will grow inside of a cupboard. I tell people that all the time. It's so true. Uh, it gets very little light over here. And it's kind of leggy. It's not as bushy as it was. I always say bushy. It wasn't as full as it was when I first got it, but it's growing, so that's good. All right, so right here I have a another pothos, um, a variegated one. It's not doing much of anything. I'm pretty sure it's looked like this since I got it. I might need to take it out, soak it in water, reestablish the roots, and then see if that helps it grow, but it's not doing anything. Um, I do think... Most of these leaves are new, and the rest of them, the old ones, died out. So that could be, I don't know. I, I just, I need to do something with that. I don't know. Uh, and then this one is also a baby of a mother plant that's downstairs. She's the queen in this house. She literally is taking over my dining room. Um, but I gave her a little trim, and now she has a baby up here that is probably going to be taking over my bedroom soon. And then this is my side of the bed. I have up there a pothos 
that is doing great it's really heavy top heavy so it's kind of leaning a little bit but i don't mind it because i just feel like once it starts to um, vine it'll all vine this way which is fine and then i'll turn it around so that it grows equally but for now it's fine um the leaves are huge i think i've showed this before but this is my hand and look how big the leaf is the leaves are um right there i have a snake plant that is i think it's struggling a little bit i may have ignored it for like six months so it needs love um the leaves are curled so i gotta really take care of that and then right here i have a money tree again it's turned i turn my plants so that they get equal equal um light exposure so it's full on this side but not so much on this side and then right here i have a pepperonia i think that's a variegated one i don't really know much about pepperonias i have three of them and they're all doing well but i don't i don't like intentionally take care of them because i don't really know much about them but i'll have to do more research in this notebook i usually write down things about my plants so that i know like which ones I water, which ones will need water, what needs fertilizer, what needs a new pot, like when I go to the store to look for new pots, all that kind of stuff. I write it in that notebook. Um, I don't know why I just shared that, but I did. <laughs> um, also, I use a diffuser in here, so that's the only humidity that my plants are getting is from that little diffuser right there. And over here is, is kind of the struggle corner. So I have my croton here. Oh, it's heavy. Um, that clearly needs to be watered, but I just potted it in this little cute pot that my friend Courtney sent me. Uh, it does need to be watered and it's heavy. <laughs> and then right there mm, is my dead peace lily. No, that's not peace lily. My dead orchid. Um, you guys, I'm very devastated that, that this thing died. And here's why. Because I, I've never been a flower type of person. And someone gave this to me for my birthday, I think. And I didn't really care for it. I was like, once the leaves die, I mean, once the flowers die, I'm just going to let it go, whatever. But it started thriving. So I was like, well, I'm going to... I'm gonna take care of it now because obviously I'm doing something right, right? And then I started taking care of it and then it died. So now I find like it has to be my mission to go out and get another one and ignore it so it thrives and I can feel good about myself because it really bruised my plant ego when I started to love it and then it died. I'm not crazy. Okay, so then out here is my bedroom balcony, which has nothing going on. Um, I have some succulents right there that are all cuttings that I planted. So um, they're doing great. They're, they are massive over here. And then I have some pumpkins growing right there that I plan to ignore and hope for the best. And then I have a little plant right there. I don't know what it is, but I hope it gets really big. I got that from my friend Carmen. Hey Carmen. Okay, and then here on this end of the desk, ignore the mess, it's a mess. Uh, I got this. I think I just bought this from Trader Joe's. Oh, it has a new baby leaf. This says philodendron right here, but I'm almost sure this is not a philodendron. I think this is an elephant ear or some type of form. Or maybe elephant ears are technically philodendrons. I don't know. If you know what this is, let me know. But Mommy, I hope. Can we get our snacks right now? Sure. I hope that this plant gets really big. Um, and then right here, another little struggler. This is an IV something. I don't know what this is. But again, it was a rebound plant. You guys know me with rebound plants. Um, I went to the store because I was sad and wanted to buy a plant and ones that are on my to get list weren't there. 
So I bought this one, brought it home, ignored it, and then it started to die. And only this one piece right here survived. So I chopped it up and then I repotted it and it seems to be, it's growing. I mean, it was only like maybe here when this happened and now all of this is new growth. So I might get another plant out of, it, out of this or it might just die altogether. I don't know, but it's here. Okay, this is Miracle. Um, she was not doing well at all. She was hanging in my shower and all summer last year she was thriving and then fall and winter came and she was still in the shower hanging and I think she just did not like that. <laughs> so it started to get really thin here. It was vining as you guys can see right here. There's That's where like the vines were. They started to get super leggy, and you guys know me, I love a fuller potho, so I was like, no, we're not having that. So I cut it all up, left about two or three leaves on here, and now it is so big and so full, and it's starting to vine again, and over there too. So I'm excited. I think during summer, I'm going to put her back in the shower, but during fall and winter, I'll take her out. All right, so that's the overhaul of plants in my bedroom. Hopefully somebody watched this video.